Hello and welcome to another two o'clock on Tuesday. Most of uh, the time we've done these every week, every two o'clock, uh, every Tuesday, except for August. Um, it is holiday season, so please forgive us if we do it every two weeks, every, every fortnight. But as we approach the end of August and, and into September, uh, for a lot of countries, schools are going back. For most countries, uh, COVID-19 is, is kind of waned, but is, is, is not going away anytime soon and, and is potentially creeping back up again. Uh, and that's going to be the, the future for some time. It's going gonna, it's gonna to go up and down and up and down. And, and it's, a, it's a process of managing it as best we can. But in that time, a lot of, of complex decisions have been made by governments around how do we keep companies going? How do we keep people active? Um, how do we ensure that we still have, um, uh, you know, an industry uh, and and businesses to to go back to work um, post COVID nineteen? Now, for a lot of people, that's meant furloughing, taking time off, uh, being made redundant, um, having to rethink their careers. But from a business point of view, we're now heading out of that and into a recession, not ideal. And that recession will be deep, but the, the, a lot of the arguments are that it will be relatively short. Thankfully, due to the fiscal stimulus that most countries have, have implemented. But that then means there's a debt to be paid. More about that perhaps another day. So what can you do going into September that's going to help propel your business forward? Well, it's what I call organisational speed. So how do you increase your organisational speed? Now, there's there's three things realistically you need to to break that down into and i'm i'm all for very simple descriptions uh, of of what they are so that's really really simple the first thing is get stuff done simple enough and what does that mean we'll come back to that second thing is get more out of your people that, that's not demanding more hours that's that's actually getting more out of the resource that you have not stretching that resource to do more and deliver more in other ways and then the third thing is to look to the future. So those three things will help increase your organisational speed. So what is get stuff done? Well, increasing the speed at which you can make decisions. Increasing the, the number of, of decisions that you can delegate down to people, that you don't need committees if you're a large organisation or you don't need two or three people to sit around a table and discuss for hours on end. You know, make the decision, make it quickly, understand that it may not be the perfect decision but it's probably pretty good and move forward and then execute and execute quickly so get stuff done get to a conclusion quicker and then start implementing quicker now if you're a manufacturing company yes i understand there are um you, you know certain standards you need to achieve and so on and so forth but fundamentally you can shorten the decision making cycle if you're a service or industry, often it's easier to get it 80% right and then adapt as you move forward. And customers will forgive you if you explain why you're doing it. So make decisions quicker, execute quicker, deliver quicker. You don't have to over promise and under deliver. Deliver what you say you're going to deliver and then improve from there. So get stuff done quicker. The delegation also means you've got less people sitting around a board table discussing what it is you want to do. Those people can be more efficiently employed elsewhere. We've been through for a lot of countries, people being furloughed, people being uh, temporarily suspended or, or on, on extended uh, vacation and holidays. So the people left in the business have been forced to make decisions. They've been forced to take on uh, gr greater authority to look back at that and see what they achieved and understand how that could be applied going forward. How decision making can be devolved down to people. So that's the first thing, get stuff done. The second thing about organisational speed is how to get more out of your people. Getting more out of your people isn't just getting them to work longer hours, shortening their lunch breaks. It's actually about hierarchy, it's about teams and it's about a crossover. So what are those three things? Well, the hierarchy. Do you have a very steep pyramid organisation? You know, have you lots and lots of layers? Do you really need that? 
Um, I read a report many years ago um, that, that a very large multinational telecommunications company worked out that if they took out one layer of management, it was something like an eight figure cost saving, one layer of management. Yes, it's an enormous organization, one of the largest in the world, um, but that's quite something. So if you took out, I'm not saying you, you make people redundant, but if you flatten the hierarchy, if you if you if you make people more responsible, give them more responsibility. If you take out one layer, what could that deliver you? How could you achieve more? Certainly, in large organisations, hierarchies can be very useful, but they can also be quite cumbersome. Get more out of your people by working together as teams. You you don't have to sit everything in a functional unit. Get people to get in teams. Get people to collaborate across the organisation and share ideas and learning. And it goes back to, to what I was saying earlier about you know decision making. I, I said, you, you know, empower more people to make decisions. Yes, empower more people to make decisions. But you don't need all the managers from the departments to make a decision. Maybe just get two or three people from lower within the department and give them the task. So empower people and make the teams work together. And cross over knowledge, cross over information share ideas, encourage an open dialogue across departments. And all of this applies whether it's an enormous organisation or whether it's just, just two, three, four, ten people. Now with organisations like that, there tends to be a natural crossover, but there still tends to be a hierarchy. So how do you, how do you remove that? And the third thing about um, increasing organisational speed is to look into the future. Uh, we're not talking about crystal ball gazing here, but where, where are you going to be? Where is your organisation going to be in one year, three year, five year times? Promote talent quicker. The talent that you need for tomorrow, start to look for it now and promote from within or, or, or bring in from outside if you can't find it within. But I'm, I'm a strong advocate of promoting from within, allowing people to fail and learn as they move forward. So promote the talent quicker. And promoting isn't a job title and a pay rise. I'm sure the, the people doing the job would like that. But promoting is about giving more responsibility by allowing people the opportunity to flourish. So promote talent quicker. Talent, not people. Allow failure and learning and share from the learning. You know, we, the, I'm a great advocate of the best way to learn is to fail. I'm not saying we go out of a, out of a way to fail. Um, certainly not, but we do learn more through failure than we do through success. So you look to the future, learn. I, I said earlier about you know execution. Maybe don't deliver the the absolute perfect product, but learn and fail and learn as you go. And then the final thing in looking to the future is look at objectives, look at your goals and your KPIs, and set the goals and the KPIs on what it is you want to achieve, not the roles and the people you have today. So the key performance indicators for the company should be where you want to be. The key performance indicators for the individuals should be where you want them to be. So set targets and goals that reflect where you will be in the future and build a path that takes the people, the processes, the products and everything forward together. Now, increasing organisational speed is something that companies really should embrace. Those are three simple ideas. Get stuff done. Get more out of your people. Focus on the future. Do those and you will find that your organisational speed will increase. But if you want more help, if you want some guidance, if you want some support in doing that, um, my name is John Fuggles. I work for Mission 23. We'd be more than happy to help you. Thank you.